Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Saturday, September 28, 2024, the Memorial of St. Wenceslaus. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who taught the martyr St. Wenceslaus to place the heavenly kingdom before an earthly one, grant through his prayers that denying ourselves we may hold fast to you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Luke chapter 9, verses 43b through 45. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While they were all amazed at his every deed, Jesus said to his disciples, Pay attention to what I am telling you. The Son of Man is to be handed over to men. But they did not understand this saying. Its meaning was hidden from them, so that they should not understand it. And they were afraid to ask him about this saying. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection In today's Gospel, we have this moment where everything seems to be going really great for the disciples. Jesus performs a miracle, and the crowd is amazed at the greatness of God. But then, out of nowhere, Jesus pulls his disciples aside and he says, Pay attention to what I'm telling you. The Son of Man is to be handed over to men. Now, why would Jesus drop this heavy truth right when everything seems to be going well? Well, it's because he knows what's coming. And he wants his disciples to be prepared, not just for the glory of his miracles and the good times, but for the suffering that lies ahead. Jesus was trying to show them that following him isn't just about witnessing his power, it's about walking with him to the cross. Today, as we celebrate the memorial of St. Wenceslaus, we see someone who lived out this call to follow Jesus through both triumph and suffering. Wenceslaus was a king, a ruler with power and influence, But he's not remembered for any of that. He's remembered for his faith, his devotion to Christ, and his willingness to sacrifice for the good of his people, even to the point of his own martyrdom. Wenceslas had power, but he didn't cling to it. Instead, he used it to serve his people, especially the poor and the marginalized. He built churches, cared for the needy, and he promoted peace in a time of great violence. But just like Jesus warned his disciples, Suffering was part of his path too. Wenceslas was betrayed by his own brother and killed for his faith and commitment to justice. He understood, just like Jesus told his disciples, that following Christ means walking a path that sometimes includes suffering and rejection. There's a quote attributed to St. Wenceslas that reflects this spirit of sacrifice and trust in God's plan. He said, No earthly power can thwart the will of the Eternal Father. Therefore, I shall fear no one, for he alone is my strength. Such courage, such passion, I love it. Wenceslas understood what Jesus was talking about in today's gospel. God's plan often includes suffering, but that suffering is never without purpose, and it is never the end of the story. So what does this mean for us? Well, it means that when we follow Jesus, we can't just stick around for the miracles, for the good times, for the feel-good moments. We have to be ready to embrace the hard parts too, the sacrifices, the sufferings, the moments when we don't understand why things are happening the way they are. And let's face it, life is filled with those moments. But just like the disciples, we might not always understand and maybe sometimes we're afraid to ask, but we can trust that Jesus is walking with us through all of it and that the cross leads to resurrection. Let's ask for the courage today to follow Jesus 
not just when things are going well, but even when the path gets hard. And so today, let's pray, following the example of St. Wenceslaus, who shows us that true power is found not in avoiding suffering, but in offering it up for the glory of God and for the good of others. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.